it. And the problem was, I was actually a love child, and it was in the 60s when single mothers didn't get any kind of help with housing benefit or anything. And my real mother had left her husband, she already had a little boy and had an affair, got pregnant. And what happened was, if she'd have had me, she wouldn't have been able to make ends meet. She would have had to go out to work all day long. We would have been in care. I know. So she just had she to. She gave you the very best possible life, exactly. really. She exactly. loved you enough exactly. to let you go. Exactly. And, and that's, that's what love is, really, isn't it? Really yes. detached. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you can't, can't look at it. This is an ideal thing for you. Yes. Home alone meatloaf. Brilliant. It's by, <laughs> you mean well, brilliant. Those, it, and it's given by a student. It says, this recipe is ideal for teenagers who've been left to fend for themselves. It is quick. I'm just out of tea. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, you're not here. Quick, cheap, easy and very tasty. So as you've left home, um, I thought, a pound and a half of mince, minced beef. Right. Now, if you get the cheaper cut, a cheaper piece mm -hmm. of meat, it's going to be uh, rather fatty, so pour off the fat from time to time. Right. Half a pound of sausages. Uh -huh. Sausage. Get sausage meat, or if you have sausage, you uh, can skin them. Right. And get the ones that are really... Can I look at the book? Yes, get the ones that are really uh, full of flavour, darling, because that means that you, you're already going to have some nice uh, flavour in the meat anyway. So what sausages are these? These are herbs, herbs and porky herbs. Uh, uh, porky herbs. Spicy pork. <laughs> spicy right, pork. but you've got, them. listen, you've got, to, you've got to use your fingers with this, so make sure you scrub your hands thoroughly. Right. Well, one onion. Right. Which you then start squelching up. You're not looking. No, I'm sorry, I'm reading, I'm just looking through this book. I just think. So when Mark comes to dinner and you say you can't cook meat, this is easy, darling. Right. right. And then chopped green pepper. In actual fact, you can put what you like in it. If you would rather have chopped celery, for example. When you were a little girl, I used to make you this a lot. Right. No, because you said you didn't like bones. No, that's true. Yes, no. Yes, actually, I do. Because I was wondering if it was if it was the same thing. Very, very similar. Anyway, so you mix it up like that. Mm -hmm. it looks mucky, but it's What's not. What's that? That's. Three slices of white bread soaked in milk. Now this is, oh dear, oh dear. Can you no, I'll get it? It's all right. You have um, three slices. Of three bread slices, in milk. yes. Three slices of bread and so milk to, to bind it. To bind it, and so that it's it makes it lighter, so it's not too heavy. Um, nice lot of. Uh, you that? have to be tabasco. careful. That's Tabasco. That's hot. Isn't it, yes, it's quite hot. Mm. A spoonful of mixed herbs. Right. Right. And can I put tarragon in that? Yes. I love, yes. Yes, anything you've got, cumin, anything, all, all the kind. And, there, and that's pepper. Uh-huh. These are all sticky. This so is this nice. Is don't the... leave, I was going to say, don't leave this out. This is a French mustard because it does really give it a nice flavour. Oh, lovely. Can I smell that? Right, so then here we go. Mm. And we squelch. Well, you see, it couldn't oh be easier. God, like bread in a way. <laughs> yes, it is like making bread. Yeah. Do you make bread? Well, no, I haven't yet, you but said, I will do. I have, you, will have, do. You, have you got that bread loaf, like, that bread tin I gave you? Yes, I have. I will right. use it. But so I then you can use it for the meat loaf. Oh, uh, yes, that's a problem. So look, darling, that book is... So uh, this is the one that you're telling me about, the one that's all Islington resident, isn't it? Like, all famous. Yes. But not only that, it's for the NSPCC. All the proceeds go to the um, charity. It's a very Brilliant. good book. You have a look, Brilliant. there's some nice things in it. I don't suppose you'll make them, but still. Neat. This one. Poor man's supper. That sounds like it. Now look, darling. Oh God, look. Granger. Sorry, yes. So put it in. Uh -huh. Do you think it looks nice? It's weird. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be lovely. I'm sure it will be lovely. But if you have any of it over, uh -huh. you see when Mark comes to dinner, yes. you could really show off. But if there's too much, you can always make rissoles for breakfast before you go to work. Oh yes, I'll try that. There we go. Now at the same it? time, now you cook it for an hour. Right. Um, in number three oven. Right. And at the same time you can have jacket potatoes and put those in at the same time. Make sure you stab them and rub them with oil and salt on them. So that while this is cooking, the vegetables are cooking. Brilliant. And that is. peas or something, maybe yeah. cabbage. Cabbage? We do cook cabbage. Yes, I cook cabbage. Right. So that's one hour. Now, what you have to do, you've got to serve it with sauce. So yes. you melt an onion with, in some oil, not too much oil, and a right. tin of chopped tomatoes. Now make sure they've got no skins on, because you can imagine yes, if so you were having all, it yeah, with, uh, with all the string. So darling, when you've done all that... Do you mind washing up? 
and do your washing up as you go along. Scrub your hands. You know, <coughs> have a bit of a longer career break, didn't you? Yes, I did. When I had Hannah, I just took the maternity leave and went back. I mean, I was full time and went back part time after my maternity leave. Whereas this time, I really do want to take a career break. Mm. I've been given the option this time, so hopefully I'm going to take two What's years. What's a career break? How? Oh, two years. Two, two years. years. Well, it'll be about. Three